Times are really tough for the tech industry right now. I mean, macroeconomic economic conditions with the war with Russia, oil and energy prices, interest rates. The whole world is like feeling the effects of inflation and recession. And last year, people were leaving their jobs willingly to go find better jobs, better salaries in tech. This year, tech people are being let go without a choice. You know, so many firings are happening in tech. Facebook just laid off around 11,000 employees. Apart from that, you had Twitter. Twitter, I mean, I'm sure anybody who's reading the news in tech, they know what's happening with Twitter, right? Apart from that, Stripe, Stripe just cut for 14% uh, of its like, uh, that's around a, a thousand plus employees. They just fired and saying that they, they had overhired, right? And apart from that, Microsoft, Microsoft also, also announced job cuts. I mean, it's across the board, guys. Tech was one of the safest areas to work in. But nowadays, it's like becoming where you, you're hearing bad news after bad news of people being let go. And it's, I mean, I'm not going to go into the factors. I think most of you already know why we've reached this point that people just did not realize the type of bubble that we were in. And the industry is now feeling the effects of that short sightedness, right? And, you know, around 83% of companies are concerned about a recession in 2023. So company tech companies are freezing hiring, restructuring, initiating layoffs so that they remain resilient in the uh, coming recession. And that's what happens. Anytime there's a recession, people get laid off salaries get frozen. I mean, I'm sure you must be aware of this whole thing, right? And if you're in tech or cyber security, it's understandable to, that you feel stressed out, right? My The point of this video is to make to tell you that do not waste time worrying. Instead, use it to take action. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about in this video, the tech layoffs and firing in cyber security. A lot of people have asked me that, okay, what's going to happen? And I, am I going to get fired? Uh, and the whole point of this video is to just give you some good advice. I've been through many, many recessions. I mean, I i forgotten. I started my career in 2002, right when there was a recession happening in the tech sector, you know, though. So I'm familiar with a lot of these things which have happened. I think I've seen a lot of ups and downs in the industry. So let's go through them and what you can do. What are the concrete steps you can do instead of just sitting around worrying about it? Right. Before we start, guys, please welcome to my channel, the cloud security guy. If you're familiar with this, my name is Tamur and I talk on a weekly basis about cloud security, artificial intelligence and general good cyber security career advice if I can help people out in their careers. And today, because this topic is so much in the news, so many people are getting fired, their livelihoods are getting impacted. I thought it would make sense to make a video about this, right? If you find this video useful, please do like and subscribe to this channel. That will really help the channel to grow and reach more and more people. And especially this video, I hope that it can help you out and other people, okay? So this is a question. This is a million dollar question I keep getting asked a lot. Is cyber security secure from layoffs? Now. It's not a yes or no question. I'm trying to I'm going to try and break it down. Okay. First of all, cybersecurity historically has been a little bit recession proof, but that does that does not mean that recession does not impact it. Okay. So yeah, cybersecurity is a very good field and all that. So I want to break it down into good news and bad news. So always with the bad news first. And the bad news is yes, there is every possibility that people can get fired in a recession in cyber even if you are in the cyber security field i don't know who has told you this but yeah if you're in cyber security like i said companies restructure companies freeze hiring and if they feel that you're not adding value to the organization they may my, you might get the slip to like get terminated it is an unfortunate reality and it can happen it has happened to many people i know so please do not live in this bubble in this imaginary world thinking that i'm in cyber security nothing is going to happen to me no absolutely not you can very much get terminated. So that was the bad news, you can say. Okay, so what is the good news? And the, the, all this good news also. Good news is cybersecurity still is, is an awesome field to be in. It is a very strong field. Businesses cannot afford to cut down on cybersecurity, right? And there is a shortage, right? If you look at the job postings are there. So even what do you call, with the recession, there is an increased adoption of services and uh, what do you call that there is a demand in the tech industry and you will it's usually easier to find jobs in cyber security compared to the other fields right because the field is so massive because and the demand for cyber security professionals are so much there and because the risks of breaches are there so don't get too too much depressed even if the economy worsens like uh, the, the cyber attackers are not going to go away just because the economy is doing bad right in fact you might see more cyber attacks happening within the economy right bad economy so cyber security professionals should not like uh, get depressed by that there is a wee possibility you will be able to find a job if you get laid off but so assuming you have a job right now uh, who is at risk this is very important guys like you need to understand this like if you're currently working in cyber security right 
do not assume that you are safe and just think about your profile okay who is at risk if you are just sitting in your job chilling relaxing doing the bare minimum you know this concept of quiet kit quitting which became popular a few months back i mean you're not taking on any additional responsibilities believe me you could very be on the chopping block if the decision is made to let go of people who are non essential so you need to become very essential to your company you need to reach out take on more projects take on more responsibility i'm not taking telling you to work like 12 hours a day that's also not too conductive you can you because that's not sustainable right but reach out and become more popular in your uh, what do you call field okay make sure that you are visible to your company's management this way this way the companies will know that you are an essential person and they won't think of you when they thinking of people to let go okay but at the same time please do not assume some people sometimes even when you're doing everything the unfortunate reality is for large large companies people who are actually contributing to do get laid off and that is the sad reality of most large companies right so what do you do what should you do what to prepare and these are very simple steps i mean and these apply to pretty much any industry not just cyber security guys please have an emergency fund which is like put aside at least 6 months salary uh cut down on a few things right now you know netflix or uh, maybe ordering stuff on amazon and whatever that stop playing so many video games stop watching so many movies whatever whatever like what do you call uh, unnecessary expenses you can cut back on try to cut those back on until the recession goes away and at least try to put aside at least 6 months of salary okay and the other most important thing is upskilling yourself guys this is very very important even if you are in cyber security but you are your skills are such which are no longer in demand industry i mean if you are like a network administrator network security guy whose job is like i don't know configuring hardware appliances and everything is moving to the cloud right just as an example i'm giving then you won't find then you will find it difficult to find a job so i want you to do one thing i want you to go to linkedin and search search for jobs in your industry search for jobs in your country which jobs are the most in demand in cyber security and do you have those skills i want you to check do a gap analysis of yourself with those skills find out where do you stand do you have those skills do you have those certifications or not if you do not have them no worries you have time right i want you to start upskilling yourself make a plan for the next 2 months 3 months invest in yourself if you have to spend a little bit of money to get certified get those skills please do it do not waste time like i don't know uh, playing video games play, watching sports whatever the time you're watching netflix binging and all that set aside some time every every day 30 minutes 60 minutes to upskill yourself and make sure those skills are there on your cv look at this channel also i have a free session program on the ccsp and other uh, valuable skills also please do check it out so that you are able to upskill yourself right and the last thing and the most important guys please this is very important do not just depend on your 9 to 5 job for your income okay your 9 to 5 job can go away and then if you this is the only thing you're depending on this can cause you serious problems i've like many made many many videos on this like how to create passive income in cyber security you know through medium maybe through udemy courses uh, fiverr upwork uh, writing uh, creating books i've made multiple videos on this you can check them out i'll link it here also please take a look at that and see what what skills you can bring to the table what is it that you can bring and actually level up yourself and start earning money so that you are not just dependent on your 9 to 5 job i'm not saying that immediately you'll become like a millionaire you'll start earning 10000 dollars per month that's not going to happen what will happen is slowly slowly you'll start to learn your skills will go up so have a side hustle have something which is generating income from you along the side and you'll find it very interesting also and i i can guarantee you you learn a lot of new skills new things which you can put on your cv so you can take a look at the videos i've already made so i hope this was useful to you guys like i said this recession this happens every years it's going to happen again in the next 4 to 5 years don't worry too much about it but do not spend time just stressing out about it learn these skills so that you are able to get through this and come out even better on the other side okay thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video